credit card vault. Which would open the reservation. Click on the reservation. Go into the guest folio. Then we click on charges and payments. You will now see that the credit card vault button is now available. You can click on that. If it's a new credit card you will be using, your token will be selected on new credit card. You select the payment type. Since you are not able to process any tr card transactions through the system with credit card vault, since it's only for storing of credit card information, it will automatically be populated as zero, which you would not be able to change. And then go ahead and click on the proceed button. This will bring up the i4 go screen where you'll be able to enter that credit card details. Once the details are entered, go ahead and click on continue. Once completed, it will indicate that the credit card on record is going to say yes, indicate that there's a card on file. Um, as soon as it's submitted, it will allow you to put in the payment at this stage. At this point, it's assuming that you would charge that card through your terminal. If you've taken the payment, you can select the payment type, how you took it, enter the amount, post, and submit. At any point, if you needed to retrieve that card information, what you would do is click on the credit card vault, select the card from the drop down. Once you select it, then you would click on the proceed button. This will give you a combination of four words which you will enter into your forward interface. As you can see, those words will remain available for one hour from the time you clicked on proceed. Once you log into your terminal, now you will enter your those four words. Sue, Carton, Free, and Kurtz. You enter the comp characters from this image. F, J, H, Z, X, 3. Click on Retrieve. And it will provide you with that credit card number and information associated with it, allowing you to charge that card through the terminal. If you need more time, before time runs out, you can click on the I need more time button to the top and it will reset that timer. Once you're finished, you click on OK and it will carry you back to enter your next set of words. Once you're finished, then you can actually close the pop-up, cancel that, and then process how much you took that payment for. At any stage, if you needed to remove that card from within the system, there is a three-dot button next to the Select Token drop-down. You can click on that. It will list all tokens associated with that client. You can click on the Delete button to remove it. Once deleted, it's no longer available. Thank you.